Hi, it's SerpyMoose99. Welcome to episode two of Halloween. Let's get the big glamour side here. And, uh... couple things to take care of here. First of all, uh, I've been out of town for a while. We went on a last minute family vacation to Whistler. So I'm quite a bit behind on the episodes. I'll try and catch up over the next week or two here. Also, I won't remember much about what we did. So I'll have to look around a little bit. And, um, oh, the other thing too is apparently I can't read my own handwriting. This was supposed to have been a plains map, not a lakes map. And, uh, Yeah, so I've got Equinot Lakes instead of Equinot Plains. And I think also Moostro had the same uh, information passed on by me, who can't read my own notes. So, Anyways, I'm playing a different map than some of the other guys, but I kind of like this map. And we did a little cheesy bridge here, so I'm okay with that. So, not the easiest map in the world to work with, but there's a bit of room here. So I think I'm going to play this and... Uh, Carry on and see what happens here. So it'll be a little bit different than the other guys, but hey, that's what it is. All right, so we don't have a town hall yet. We were going to build this coven hall here. Let's have a look here. We have logs. We have decent stone, although that won't last because there's no, uh, or not a lot of uh, land here. We can pull some out of there, though. And we have 200 firewood. We have a little bit of food, but not as much as I would like here. And I know I was going to put a fisherman in right on the end on this point here. Which I think is a pretty good spot for a fisherman. We got a small barn going in there as well. Our gatherer is maxed at two. Nobody's currently chopping wood and nobody's currently making tools, which is a problem because we're down to five. Let's put somebody in doing that and let's up that to 50. And our forester is planting only at the moment, which is fine. And we have two builders and one laborer. Okay. And I think somewhere in here, unless I removed it, was a nomad scarecrow. Okay, I think it was right there and I don't see him. So I must have removed that. So, all right, well, let's let it go here. And let's get this fisherman going here. And while that's going on, let's have a quick look through our housing here. Oh yeah, these cute. Kinda like those tree houses there. I, I would live in one for sure. Okay. Looks like a nomad couple with no kids there. Okay, so there was a young couple and then Okay, these ones, I'm not sure why I'm watching those. So let's close that. Okay. Okay, and this barn, that was for the fish, okay. And our fishing dog built, okay. So food is down to 660. Let's take the builders right out. And let's put a couple of people in there fishing. Okay, that's a max it looks like okay and that hmm well I think we need more people I definitely think we need more people so all right now I have to remember my theme sets here and I don't know if there was uh extras. Oh, this is where we were going to get the uh, pumpkin patch and the corn and everything. Okay, cool. Spice shack. Okay, right on. Oh yeah, that was my uh, my aim too, is I want to make some nut bread here. Scarecrow for nomads. How many people total? We have 13 at the moment. Um, So 20 wouldn't be totally out of whack here. Oh, that one looks pretty cool, actually. Let's put them right by... Where do we want to put them? 
Oh, I think this is where I had the other one, so I'll probably remember it better if I put that there. So let's put that in. Hmm. It made the noise like I put something in, but I don't... Oh, I might have two in there, okay. Alright, there we go. Okay. Now, I would like to establish this a gather and a hunter kind of down here. I was going to do uh, trading docks, town hall, maybe another fishing dock on the point there. So, a little community up there. And do our pumpkins and our nut bread and our nuts and all that kind of stuff. I kind of like that idea. Okay, and that is our smith, okay. Looks like you're maxed out on tools, so. Okay. Now let's run this again. So we have five couples, I think. Oh, the tower. Okay, the tower was a house as well, too. Okay, good. Okay, I remember where we're at now. And this might be a good time, actually, to build that uh, coven hall there. We have the resources, so let's do that. I don't like running without a town hall, so I think that's what the coven hall was doing. No reason to get rid of that card at the moment here. Now we have a little teeny bit of leather. Well, let's get the cabin hall going, then we can really see where we're at. How are you doing over here? Well, it's not tons, but we just turned you on. And there's no house over there, so... Okay, Zayden has become an adult here. Oh, we don't have a school either. Good point. Okay. So let's pause for a minute while I lamely search through the menus here. Okay, we got no friendly pumpkin here. That's where we have to be. Friendly house. Oh, okay, that's... Um, we built Friendly House 1, Witch's House, Forest Topper 4, Forest Topper 1. Okay, so I'm thinking Friendly House 2. Let's have a look at that one there. So if we did that, and a little road in there. Okay, so let's build friendly house number two after our coven hall comes up here. Oh, that's actually where we should put our uh, scarecrow too, I think. Little dude. I gotta say, this Equinox uh, map is pretty colorful. Nice fall colors and stuff here. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we're one house short, we knew that. Now, uh, education, 18%, rock on, okay. Clothing, 25. Let's see what our five year food graph looks like here. Okay, that'll be the fishing dock there. And our inventory here. Um, maybe a few 
well. It's interesting for probably a little bit. Down to 25 logs here. We might have to turn that forester on. No eggs, but we had some. Well, we kind of need to get a trader going to get iron. Since there's no mines in this uh, theme set here. There's not really a lot to trade at this moment here. I mean, we can give away a few flowers, a little bit of fodder thatch, but that's not going to get us too far here. All right, so we need a trading strategy. We need a better food supply. And we need a school, I think, here. So let's go through our sets here. So we're Gothic. Um... There's a school in the gothic set there. Dark school for 22 students here. Well, that's actually not terrible at all. 22 students is pretty good. Okay, well, let's just get that road in first a little farther here. And I guess at some point we want to build over here. Um, they won't really use it, but like it, so let's do that. Let's go back in like, the gothic set here, dark version, school. Okay, so we'll build that after this house for the fisher, fishing dock here. Should help with their production and make them a little bit happier too. Our health is actually at five hearts right now. That's pretty cool. So we can put an extra builder in. Let's do that. seems to be duck point here all right and that house is built let's do our school now food is better but it's still not awesome here okay somebody else just graduated here so let's have a look here Looks like we'll need a second house here. I think let's put it over here. So let's go friendly pumpkin house again here. It'll look a little bit weird, but I kind of want to try one of every kind here. Okay, and I'll put somebody teach in the school. Oh yeah, I was going to worry about logs here and firewood. Okay, a couple of things to worry about. So the forester, I th think. Yeah. Yeah, we need more people in there, really. But we also need a wood chopper here. So let's put somebody in there. And let's bump this up to 400, I think. Might leave that person in forever after, so close that off and four stone and eighteen logs, okay. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a little stockpile over here too. I think once we get the stuff built, we'll carry the road up. 
And then I'm going to think about a farming community up there. Ideally, if we get some nomads, we can expand with uh, those folks. Might as well pick up the stuff up here. A little bit of stone there, too. This road is just for me, they're never going to use it, so they're going to cut across here, so I think really if I cared about my people, I'd probably do something like that. Alright, that is building slowly there. Apparently house number three built. Okay. Couple of lonely boys there. Okay. Logs are not awesome. Oh, I did have a stockpile there. <laughs> Derp. Well, you know. I like the new one better, so let's get rid of the old one there. And let's carry this road on up here. Have a quick look here. Okay, and our food is still slightly going up here, so it's not terrible. I think having those houses here help these guys out a bit here and give them a full season too. A couple more spots for fishing docks here if we want them as well. Okay, just have a quick look through our houses here. Now because we put a school in, we're going to have a bit of a pause on the, the kids becoming uh, workers but if we get nomads here now I don't see any nomads here I don't think you're a nomad no nope, you are a woodcutter so that means they're in some other place on the map here and I always feel bad when I kill nomads even though it's a computer game and they're not real but I do. So I'm going to save this off here. And I'm going to say yes and we'll see. Okay. Unpause briefly and. Okay. You guys are up the creek without a paddle here. And that appears to be south of us here. All right, so there we are. That's a small creek and a big, big river. Yeah, okay. I honestly don't know if that's a bug, which I think it is, or just random chance, I guess, but that seemed to be the way to... It should work, at least in my opinion. Anyways, I think it, I got to call that a bug. Just reload here, take a second. Nice loading screen though. Total devastation from a fire. Okay, this worked once for us, so I'm gonna leave it in. It would be nice to get a few more folks here. Well, I mean, we're going to get a few more people anyways, the old fashioned way, but. All right. For a while though, so. I look to play in 10 and then pause it like a real time, plausible game, but. 
situations like this, sometimes at 20 would be good here. Just kind of get everybody through school and stuff here. Now, any reason to have a builder in? This is Bill. I don't think so at the moment here. So let's have a look here and maybe lay some stuff out. So did we have a market in any of these sets here? Okay, let's go through friendly pumpkin first here. A friendly shop here. Capacity 10,000, same flags as a market. Okay, fair enough. So there's one in the friendly set. Ooh, dark Town Hall. Cathedral of the Wicked here. Well, that's a pretty big boy, that guy. Cathedral of the Wicked here. 54 and a bunch of stone here. Uh, cemetery, yep. Yeah. And some fences and stuff like that, so... It was Gothic Friendly Pumpkin, which is here. Okay, those are houses, the hall. Oh, we could have used the Coven School too. Some storage, same as a market. Storage is only 1200 though. Oh, well, that's a kind of a little guy there. Witch Horde. We don't have the people to man it right now. Cauldron. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so I think we should think about herbalist here at some point here. Coven herbalist. Okay, that's something for us to aspire to. It's got a pretty good circle on it too. Now, why don't we put that behind the gatherer here? Or is that the gatherer or the forester? Yeah, either way, okay. Now we won't build it at the moment, but we'll get it ready. Deco people, Captain Car here, Dead Tree, Tombstone. There's some fun stuff in there. Cauldron, though, I think that would be a decent thing to put in at this point. Alright, so if we do a herbalist and a cauldron. Don't really need it for health right now, but herbalist for trade wouldn't hurt. Okay, I don't have to remember what else. Oh, Forest Haven was the other one, too. That's where our tree houses came from. Cool. And the platform was a market, but that's a big, big boy, okay? Forest Haven platform. So it's a market in the trees, though. Okay, and that's where our traders are going to come from, too, from that set as well. And it's got resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nut Haven. We can make nut bread. All right, that's where we're going to go when we get a few more people. I like kind of like the idea of that. Uh, first Haven platform. Well, it's pretty big, but that area is not a bad size. We could put it somewhere in there. And then we could build around that. Okay. So let's extend this road here. And theme set, Forest Haven, Forest Haven plot.
Now, if we put it like there, then those houses can take or make use of it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then we can build a town center there, expand over here, and we can actually do another town center back in there too as well. All right, and it's only 32 logs, which makes sense if it's a tree, tree haven or a forest haven. All right, um, people, people, people. Okay. And we have four students now. Cool. How are our lonely guys doing over here? Ah, there you go. Okay, our food is increasing here, and we have nomads again. And sadly, do we see any here? Don't necessarily see any again here, so... Sorry about the save and loads, but I... I don't like killing them. And I don't want to start my morning sad, so... Let's see where they are. Uh-huh. Looks to me like they are right there. So that was a success. Okay, cool. Now there was three of them, I think. So I'm guessing we need one house. That's what the game says. Hmm. We probably have enough houses there for the moment. Okay, that was a forest haven platform. So why don't we do... Forest, yeah, let's go for a forest house here. So that's forest topper one and forest top four. Way to pick them and order derpy there. Okay, so there's where that platform is going to be. Haven house high. Haven house low. Well, let's put a Haven House low in. I'm gonna kind of, I'll kind of work through the different types here. So we'll kind of make this the uh, Forced Haven, at least for houses in the market. Okay. Let's put a couple builders in, and let's say, let's do the market and the house here. It's not clear to me if that house actually clicked in there. I think I might have derped that. Forest Haven Low, I think is what that was. Yeah, there we go. Really hard to click on. Let's see if it shows up in priority. It does not. Okay. Oh, I might have two here. And because of the way it's elevated partially. Hmm. Hard to click on. Now we'll see if we have one or two there or not. And we can probably even remove a few trees here just to help. And we're out of tools, that's a problem. And we have lots of iron ore. Okay. And we can actually put two smiths in there. Interesting, okay.
way to watch the tool supply there. Okay, let's make the house a priority here. Even though I can't seem to highlight as a priority. Hmm. Yeah, it's building, so that's okay. Let's have a look at our forest platform here. Hmm. You know what that reminds me of? Have you ever played Might and Magic 7, I think it was? There was an elven town and it was all on an elevated platform. It actually was a fun game. I like older RPGs, so... Alright, now we finally got the nomads in a house here. Alright. Just in time for the child to go to school, I think, which is cool. It says we have too many homes, but I don't actually believe that for the moment here. Food graph is, you know, starting to decline. Now we got one labor, one builder here. Um, hmm. well, I kind of want to get my uh, additional farming going here. Yeah, so let's go back into that. Now, where were the nuts here? Well, okay, I know where the nuts are, but um, resources here, okay. Not a haven. I'm going to put that kind of by the forest haven here. 28 logs. I like the way they, this isn't any stone required, so that kind of makes me happy. I feel a little bit guilty. I don't have a market down here, but there's... Um, A shed and a cart full of stuff, so they'll be fine. It'll be fine. And tools have bounced back, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna... We'll keep adding up here. Let's see if we can figure out a viable trading strategy. I think that's the way to go. And I do really want to reserve... Well, actually, with that fisherman there, that point's not all that viable. Like, out here would be another good fishing dock, I think. Okay, we have nomads again here. So again, I'm going to do the nomad save here. Okay, and let's see where they are. Oh, they're here again. Okay. I like it. Okay, now. Housing chair. Yeah. Again, I think our expansion is going to be up here, so. Now, that's kind of um, hovering in the air, if you will, so. Let's see if there was something supposed to go underneath that. It's, it's a low, but it seems kind of high for a low. What's the high one look like? Hmm. 
Now I wonder if that's supposed to actually... Usually when there's a high and a low, there's like a ground floor and stuff, but... Yeah, you know... Hovering in the air like that isn't really working for me here. You know, I hate to say it, but... Probably can't even write. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I think that's supposed to be a tree house, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, don't obsess about the house hanging in the air. But let's go to. We've done one and four here. So I'm gonna go. Forest topper two. And forest topper three. Okay, they, those work better for me. There's an actual visible tree and support and stuff there. Okay, throw another builder in. Okay, and let's get some houses for those new nomads. That School's pretty far away, so we probably want another school up by this center here. And our logs are okay. But I think I'll still cut a few here, and let's harvest some stone and stuff here. Which means we probably should have another stockpile too. Let's put a stockpile beside the market here. Force topper three built, that's good. And force topper two, oh, maybe that was only one family. Oh well, we need the house anyways. Okay, nut haven here. How many people do we have? Suddenly we have five laborers here. So we can go nutty in the nut haven here. Okay, I'm gonna keep that around. I just wanna see what it produces here. Walnuts, I think, was the plan. And if we go back into the forest haven set here, there was a nut haven and a nut roaster here. So let's build that nut roaster. Yeah, we're making walnuts here, okay. Now the other plan here was pumpkins here. Obviously we need to do pumpkins, so. Where can we do pumpkins here? We have a little bit of storage there. And was it in the friendly pumpkin set here? Some nutty extras here. And that, oh, this one has a nut grove too. Hmm. Pumpkin patch here. All right, here we're now we're cooking gas here. All right, so I think a couple of pumpkin patches. And we also have corn. And spices. I'm sure there's probably some recipes or something we can do there. Hmm. Let's put a baker in somewhere. I don't know, like 
there. We'll just see what kind of recipes we have available here. Just hold that off for a moment here. So that nut haven seems to be all about the walnuts, okay? Our food's hanging in there. Um, the logs are doing okay. I would like to get more people in the forester. Firewood's not bad. Okay, I think we can afford to build these right now. So let's do that. Um, pumpkins first, I think. Yeah, you gotta have pumpkins in a Halloween town, right? Hmm. Alright, man. Elk working out there. Okay, there's the other pumpkin patch here. Um, yeah, I think we better put that one on hold for the moment here. Let's let this nut roaster build here. Yeah, I wanna see what kind of recipes that gives us here. Walnuts and firewood. Oh, interesting. Okay. Pecans and firewood, chestnuts and firewood. Um, let's go walnuts and firewood for one, Alex. Okay. Um, and let's maybe put in another wood chopper here. And we have nomads again, too. I want to do the wood chopper before I forget here. So I think beside the stockpile makes all kinds of sense to me. Yeah, let's just put a little road behind them, around there. Okay, we're going to use extra wood because of the uh, roaster here. Alright, let's go check out our nomads here. Oh, you're a worker, not a nomad, so we're going to have to do the safety save again. And the safety save is just about me not being sad here, so. Okay. And where are you guys? You are also up the creek without a paddle here. Hmm. Well. Okay, well let's see if we can pull off the mad scramble again here. Let's pause, make sure everything is paused here. I guess the woodcutter was the only thing we were building. Now, one of these theme sets had a bridge in it. Small bridge, 32. Okay. Yeah, we don't even really have to cheese that. Which is too bad, because I like my cheese here. Now let's go. Okay, new people can be builders here for obvious reasons. 
and let's designate some trees and can we fish in a stockpile without all right so let's designate stockpile on each side the bridge and those trees and maybe a couple more trees too And let's uh, let's fight for our lives, people. Okay, we need thirty-two logs, and we need to do some construction here. Okay, 18 logs here. Come on, guys. Okay, there's our 32. Okay. Everybody is a builder. Everybody's a builder. Build quick now. I don't have tools, but build, build, build. Six percent. Oh, now we're starving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. sad but at least we fought for their lives anyways okay well rest in peace and I'm sorry I'm blaming the bug in the game all right now what do I want to do here wood better and yeah Don't dwell on it. We try. Roasted nuts. Quite a few too, okay. Okay, and there's our extra wood better. Which we actually don't need at the moment. Wood has jumped up pretty good here. Let's see, maybe the pumpkins are contributing here. Yeah, for one person, 300 pumpkins, that's a good start, okay. Okay, we got five minutes left on the pig timer. And what do we want to do here? Well, let's see, where are we at? We got six students here. Let's do a housing check here. Okay, just to see where we're at. Well, that looks like a bit of a breakup there. There's a 15-year-old that should graduate soon. Looks like we have an extra house at the moment here. Okay, this hanging in the air low, low house. Okay, 19-year-old student. Yeah, okay, that students are getting pretty old, so we definitely need a school up here. We definitely need a school up here. 26 students, that's a pretty good size school. Don't 
don't really want that by room I left for housing and stuff here but let's put a school in from the forest haven set here and I think that's probably reasonable right there yeah we got a bit of a breakup happening in that house there we'll have to deal with that in a minute I'll keep that open Food is up to 7,000 here. Sorry about that. I am a bit worried about storage, actually. How are we doing there? That one's full. That's a problem. What do we have in the forest theme set here? Big barn. How can you not build a big barn? And then I think maybe some corn might be a good idea here. I know our food's pretty good, but I want to see if we can get some flour because we have walnuts. We can make nut bread, I hope. Um, okay, we have a couple of labors here. Let's see if we can fix this housing situation here. Okay, let's see who moves back in here. A okay, legit couple. Okay, so whoever it is is now reunited. Okay, it's sleeping on the Ouch, maybe, but reunited. Um, hmm, what did it say for housing here? Short one, okay. Now we've got, oh, we got nomads again here. Hmm. And they're right there. I'm going to save just in case here. I'm still kind of sad about the bridge and all that. Um, look there, take them. And they are right there. Okay, cool. So now, what does our Coven Hall say here? Well, there is, in fact, a pig timer. So, I think what we'll do is we'll build some houses next episode. I can actually turn, I'm gonna turn this on just before we go here. Cause you know, pumpkins, right? And let's get a couple builders in cause we don't have any. And we'll figure out housing and stuff like that in the next episode, which I'll do a lot sooner than the, the week or so gap uh, between the last episode and this one. All right, I'm having fun with these theme sets here. I like this map. Um, I have the wrong map, but I like the map. So uh, let's call that the end of episode two of Halloween. It's a Halloween challenge with Grumpy Gnome, Evolution SC, and Midnighter, and also Moostro. And uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.